All right, quick video, 2012 Prius, over 200,000 miles, why you want to put an oil blow-by catch can on. For those of you who know the anatomy, down here, high and way low, you got your PCV valve, and that's basically going to breathe back in through your intake manifold, and it's going to snatch a whole lot of blow-by, so your intake just keeps sucking in dirty, nasty oil. I bought a nice uh, blow-by canister. Real simple, bolted it through an existing hole there in the fender, and it's been a long time since I looked in this thing. Started smelling something funny. My engine was drinking out of the catch can. And for those of you who want to know what blow-by looks like, Toyotas are horrible, really well known for their sludging up, and it's mainly caused by just what you see here. Blow-by through the PCV valve, keeps recirculating, and then at the bottom of your oil pan, you get sludge. Less and less fresh oil can get in on every oil change, and you end up with more sludge than oil, and it'll ruin your engine. Okay, so some of you already know that this particular generation of Prius had a recall on the intake manifold, and it was due to carbon buildup in all the small passageways. And it's safe to say that this is the culprit. What happens is this blow-by gets recirculated back through the intake manifold, shoots through the intake uh, valves into the combustion chamber, and then the sludge is spit out the exhaust, at least most of it. And after it's spit out the exhaust, it gets recirculated through the EGR valve, clogs up the EGR valve, gets back into your emission systems, and the whole vicious cycle just repeats, and it leads to a lot of the carbon buildup not only in your heads um, but also in the intake manifold which causes that nasty piston slap sound that a lot of the owners know what I'm talking about uh, that Toyota says is safe but ultimately uh, this is due to what you're looking at here in this can so let's uh, see what's really in here So this is going to be fuel and oil separation here coming from the combustion chamber. Look at that. That's what sludges up and causes so many Toyotas to fail. But they go strong 250, 300,000 miles. So. Keep your oil topped off, people. Check it regularly. Change your oil frequently, or else this is what you're gonna have living in your engine. All right, so just wanted to add a couple things here, FYIs. No, this didn't come out of a baby's diaper. Hey. So the blow-by, basically fuel gets by your piston rings, or I guess I should say air and fuel goes into the combustion chamber. Your piston rings try to keep all that sealed up, but a little oil gets by to lubricate the pistons, and or the cylinders, and at the same hand, a little bit of the unspent fuel gets through the combustion chamber and into your engine. So if you put a catch can on, you can get most of this stuff out, which again is the fuel, because when it mixes into the oil, you get this sludge buildup. That is really going to take away the life of your engine. Depending on how frequently you change your oil, you can have a lot of this build up, and again, that's what is referred to as sludging up. The Toyota manual actually says, I think every 600 miles, you can consume up to one quart of oil, the 2012 Prius. That's crazy, one quart of oil in 600 miles, but believe it or not, it can happen. So that's why I said check your oil frequently because you may not know it, but in between your oil changes, you could lose a lot of oil. And by topping it off, not only are you gonna save this sludge from building up so thick that it gets into all the tiny orifices and different places in your engine where you don't want it, um, but it's gonna extend the life of your oil and your engine. And that's what we all want. So uh, again, just wanted to kind of add a few things to it. 
please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family because if you got a high mileage car, chances are you got a lot of this sludge build up in your oil pan. If you got a new car, add a catch can on right away. It's just if you take it in for service, you may want to take that back off, put your normal hoses on. And a little tip, if you do a catch can, there's a lot of videos out there. Um, the idea is your catch can needs to be level or below your PCV valve or else you're not going to have a flow of this liquid going into the catch can. Anyhow, you've seen it here. Like I always say, know what you know, but know why you know it. And now you know why you need an oil catch can. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Take care.